Hey yo, Mark here for Mark's Max Muscle, and it's yet again time for the challenge round. Today's challenge round was actually fan requested, so I can't take credit for this unbelievable pairing. So without further ado, let's see who was picked for the challenge round. Welcome to the challenge round. The first competitor, standing six feet tall, weighing 225 pounds, Dave Raper. And his opponent, standing six feet one inch, weighing 240 pounds, Mike Cat. And we will begin with the front relaxed position. Both men are uh, very similar in this pose, in structure and in conditioning and muscularity as well. Uh, quite a hard one to judge, in my opinion. I would say Draper is in uh, better condition, but really the lighting is much more flattering to his physique here. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is, uh, is going to be a tie. I'm not one to hand out too many ties, but it's a very similar in stature. and uh, I, I just can't go ahead and say one's better than the other. So let's continue on with the poses. Here, of course, is the front and double bicep. Uh, again, uh, both men very similar in this. I prefer Dave Draper in this pose, I think. Uh, his I like the look of his waist a little bit better. Even though I, I like the vacuum there, uh, Katz is rocking. I, I didn't know he could pull off uh, such a maneuver. Katz is in incredible condition here. I just like uh, the peaks on Dave Draper's biceps. Draper has incredible bicep peaks. Although it is uh, could go either way. I just think the, uh, the overall shape and the lines of Draper, in particular the lat development, I think uh, gets him a win in this. Although I will say, Mike Katz has excellent lag development in this shot. But we are going to go with Draper in this. Although, we will take a look at one more front and double bicep, just to make sure. And this one, it's uh, more clear to me. And as I, I said in the previous picture, I like the vacuum that Mike Katz was rocking. And uh, now you can see Draper rocking uh, the vacuum out maybe even harder than my cats did in the previous picture. And uh, definitely, I would say, Draper's taking the front and double bicep. And on with the poses. This is, of course, the classic side tricep. Now, I do like Dave Draper, the upper body, the way he's displayed. He uh, he definitely is showing his, his pecs much more. But, on the other side of the token... Mike Katz's legs are, uh, as I said, displayed much better. So depending on what you what you prefer, I mean, Katz is winning in the ab department. There's no doubt about that. So I'm going to go with Katz on this one. Although I will say, it could go either way, and I think that's the pretty much the story of the battle between these two. Their uh, structures are so similar. Anyway, let's uh, continue on with the poses. Here is, of course, the classic side chest. I mean, I know I seem to repeat myself, but structurally speaking, these two are so similar. 
But I just think that rib cage of my cat's is, is unbeatable in this side chest pose. So cat scores a victory in the side chest. Of course, we did uh, take another look at the front double bicep for Draper. So here's another side chest for both men, just in case there was any question. And in this one, it's uh, much more evident. Just incredible in the side chest pose, my cats. Unbelievable. One of the best of all time. Anyway, let's take a look at another pose. This is what's known as the uh, Mantis pose. I think this is one of Dave Draper's go-to poses for sure. And uh, Mike Katz, although he does look okay, in particular in the legs, but I, I think that the uh, angle of the picture, the way it's taken, is more flattering to the lower body. But I, I just think Dave Draper's, just aesthetically speaking, destroying Mike Katz, in particular the... Uh, the absolutely ridiculous hairstyle that Mike Katz is sporting here. It's, uh, almost looks like uh, some sort of uh, clown, but uh, I hate to disrespect Mike Katz like that. So, simply put, Draper wins the Mantis pose. So, on to the front lat spread. And I believe Mr. Katz is going to get one back here. He's uh, definitely scoring a victory in this pose. He's filling out the lat spread much more than Dave. And uh, if you look at the legs, Mike Katz, I'm impressed with his lag development in this contest. Of course, Draper doesn't look too bad for his time, I guess. But uh, without a doubt, Mike Katz is scoring a victory in the front lat spread. Now let's move on to the most muscular. And right away, Mike Katz scores another victory here in the most muscular. Not a tremendous pose for Dave Draper. I believe this was uh, one of the only few pitchers I could find of him hitting this particular pose. And Mike Katz, just all kinds of pitchers of him hitting this most muscular. And uh, without a doubt, Mike Katz, a stronger of the two. So there's another victory for Mike Katz. Now let's finish this contest off with a couple of back shots. Here's a... Sort of a rear double bicep, I guess you could call it, for lack of a better term. A single bicep for Draper, for Draper's case. I will definitely say Draper's back development is far superior to Mike Katz. Although I will say Katz has uh, maybe the edge on the shoulder department. But look at those traps on Draper. Very impressive, and the thickness of the, the lats. Uh, definitely, without a doubt, Dave Draper uh, with the superior back development. So there's a victory for Dave Draper. It's a, sort of a similar pose to the last one. And in my opinion, the results are going to be the same as well. Although I will say Mike Katz traps in this one might be edging out a bit of a victory. But just the thickness of Dave Draper's lats. He's got much more meat back there. Much more thickness. Although I will say Mike Katz is battling back here with great definition. But ultimately, I will say, Draper's scoring the final and most likely a very decisive victory in the last pose. So if you're keeping count, you know, it's all tied up. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to be forced to make a decision on the front relaxed position, in which I, uh, I deemed it a tie. But it looks like uh, this is going to have to be a tiebreaker. And I guess I am going to be forced to choose. And I am going to go with Dave Draper on this one. It's very close. I, I appreciate the V-taper on Mike Katz's physique. But I just believe the pec development of Dave Draper is just going to scrape him a victory out in this one. So there you have it. The winner of the second challenge round. Dave Draper. I will say, this was a very close competition, and it could have went either way. So, a big hand to Mike Katz for making this a very interesting competition. But, there you have it, once again, your Mark's Max Muscle Challenge Round Champion, Dave Draper. 
Well, that about does it for that one. I'll be sure to find an interesting pairing for the next challenge round. And of course, let me know in the comments section if you have a matchup that you'd like to see for the next one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you did. And that's it for now. This is Mark for Mark's Max Muscle.